This video will answer the question, what is epinephrine? This is epinephrine. This concludes the video. As always, thank you for watching. I kid, I kid. <laughs> epinephrine is one of our body's endocrine hormones. Endocrine hormones are chemicals in our blood that travel throughout the entire body. Before we continue on, I want to make it clear that epinephrine and adrenaline are the same things. The name epinephrine is based in Greek and the name adrenaline is based in Latin. Both terms mean above the kidney in English. So with that out of the way, where does the epinephrine in our body come from? From the body's adrenal glands. Where are the body's adrenal glands? Remember what epinephrine and adrenaline mean in English? We have a left kidney and a right kidney. And so accordingly, we have a left adrenal gland and a right adrenal gland, each sitting on a kidney. When do the adrenal glands release epinephrine into the blood? An arousal event will make the body's nerves tell the adrenal glands to release epinephrine into the blood. So what are examples of arousal events? Examples include physical threats, loud noises, bright lights, intense temperatures, exercise, or our high school crush. These events trigger a series of reactions in our body that is often referred to as the fight or flight response. A commonly used example of fight is when a parent saw their child trapped underneath a car and they found the strength to lift the car high enough for their child to crawl out. A commonly used example of flight is when a bear or some wild animal is chasing someone and they are able to run faster than they ever had before. Regardless of whichever one it is, our bodies need to be prepared in the same way to act as quickly as possible. And we will show how epinephrine is a key player in preparing the body for these events. So on that note, what exactly does epinephrine do to the body? Starting off, epinephrine will further increase our arousal in times of fear. The idea is this will make us keep an extra careful watch for any possible dangers. On the subject of careful watch, the pupils of our eyes will expand to let in more light. Regularly, our bodies keep fuels such as sugar and fat in storage. When we are in danger, epinephrine tells our body to break down our storage of sugar and fat and release it into the blood so our muscles can utilize the fuel. Sugar and fats aren't the only fuels, muscles need oxygen as well. This is why epinephrine enlarges the airways from our nose to our lungs so that air can move in and out much more easily. In addition, we want to get all that fuel throughout our bodies quickly, and so our hearts will beat faster with stronger pumps. Specifically, we want to increase the blood flow to the body's muscles. This way, we can do our best to fight or get away from the situation. Last, epinephrine improves our memory. This way, the situation that led us to the danger can later be recalled and ideally avoided. This function may explain why soldiers suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder (PTSD) after returning from wars. So altogether, epinephrine increases our sensation of fear, dilates our pupils, increases sugar and fat in the blood, widens our airways, increases heart rate with stronger pumps, and improves memory recall. Now, it is important to note that epinephrine has harmful consequences. For example, the fact that the muscles will receive more blood flow means other organs, such as our digestive organs, will receive less blood. And this is harmful to organs such as the stomach, intestines, and liver. This concludes the video. As always, thank you for watching. Comment below on any medical topics you are interested in learning more about. Also, please feel free to leave any feedback on how these videos can better serve you.